Well, I find myself with five packages, but um, they're huge. So what I have here is four packages from Banggood and one from Amazon. So we're just going to disregard this one and call this our second Banggood.com special. Let's get started. I think we're going to start from small to large. So I'm going to start with this one here. Um, so this one was $7.91, but I did pay a bit of shipping, so it ended up costing me $10.36 Canadian. Um, certain things, I don't know. Banggood, I kind of like to get my stuff a little bit faster when I order from them, so I tend to pay a little bit of shipping, but I guess it didn't really matter because it spent all this time in my received box. All right, let's take a look at these things up close. So what are these guys? Well, this is a pretty large pack of PCB prototyping um, boards. So these are kind of like, um, they just have the, the holes inside at 0.1 inch spacing so that you can make your own prototypes. And actually you get quite a few here. So they were expensive, like eight something. But um, you get you get quite a few. I think you get at least ten of each. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get them all out and see what it adds up to. Uh, these guys too come in all sorts of different shapes, which is good because circuits can be of all different shapes. Oops, that's not those at all. We go. I think there was 10 of each, but I'm not 100%. Those look like those. That looks like those. Yeah, I think so. Looks like 10 of each. And um, yeah, so certain projects are wider, some are narrower, so it's good to have a variety. Um, I find that these guys are the upgraded version of these guys. Um, these guys, I always lift pads off, or not always, but often. They're also like very cheap and crummy. And these guys are a lot more like the custom PCBs you order from like uh, PCB Way or um, the other one, the one I used. What was that again? Oh, JLC. So it's a bit thicker than these guys. They're, they're quite a bit heavier, so they're stronger, and it looks like there's far fewer defects, because if you look at these, the holes are not centered. Uh, some of them have missing copper. Just not ideal. These guys are cheap, so they're really not bad, but these guys are, at least they seem to be, the better alternatives. And on top of that, I guess these days you can even get some PCBs made, custom-made PCBs instead. But I think this will be nice to just um, whack up some quick projects. And I checked this was on sale when I bought it. And it was actually cheaper than the equivalent on eBay. So if you keep an eye on Banggood, you can often get pretty good deals. Now, all of these items will have an affiliate link in the description. So if you want to um, help out the channel, make sure to use those. But for now, let's get on to the next one. Next one up is this guy here, December 10th to 22nd, by far the fastest one. Oh, we might have one that's faster. Definitely the Amazon one was faster, but we may have another Banggood one that was faster. Uh, 1287, and I believe some of that was shipping as well. It was uh, two bucks of shipping. But um, wait till you see these, actually. These are quite interesting. Hopefully they're what I think they are. These are LED headlights, so at least I hope they are. It does say so there, and it does have the model I ordered, H4. H4, if you don't know, just means there's a high beam and a low beam integrated in thing. Braided cable, very nice. Hopefully there's two in here, because, uh, oh yeah, there is, good. So these are just supposed to be high-powered LEDs. 
uh, shape to fit your car's uh, light housing. Oh boy. There we go. So these little shields here are supposed to stop the light going where it shouldn't be on the reflector. And yeah, these things should be powerful and uh, they've got little fans inside to cool down the, the actual light because these LEDs are supposed to dissipate quite a bit of power. Um, I'm going to light them for sure, but I'm kind of afraid of what that's going to look like on my eyes. And there's, there's a three pin here, so it should be low and high beam. Problem is, I live in Canada, and in Canada we have daytime running lights. And on my particular vehicle, it just turns on the high beams at a low intensity. But I don't know if these LEDs will do low intensity, so they may actually just come on. And if that's the case, well, I'll just disable my daytime running lights and use my parking lights. But, um, okay. Shall we try this? I'm a little scared. Let me get my power supply. Really don't know what to expect here. I've got 13.5 uh, volts on my power supply here. 13.5 is reasonable um, for a running car. It could go up higher, but 13.5 is not too bad. Um, but I've set a current limit to 100 milliamps. So I just want to see if it turns on first or like what it's doing, and then we can just eat it at full power. Um, if you don't know how an H4 bulb works, the, um, this side here of the bulb is the ground. I, uh, I'm pretty sure. I think so. This side's the ground, low beam, and high beam. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm only using these. Oh, should I use clips? Yeah, I'll use clips. I was going to say I'm only using these loose connections because I just wanted to pull it out if it was, uh, if something went wrong, but you know what? You only live once. And so here it goes. Should be off. Okay, well. All right, immediately we're current limited at uh, 8.83 volts. You can tell that only a section of the LEDs are on. Gonna flip it around. Yeah, only the top portion, which makes sense. I think that's where the um, the bulb, the um, the filament would light on a low beam. Okay, it's already difficult for me to look at it. It's very bright, and the fan is spinning already. So we're this is just a hundred milliamps. So I'm just gonna turn this off, and I'm gonna go for the full shebang. Let's. Uh, oops. I'm going to set the current. Uh, I think it's only a 4 amp brick I have this connected to, so I'm not sure if we're going to get the full current. But, uh, hey, I'm willing to try. Okay, whatever. Let's do it. Okay, so immediately dazzled. It is using one and a half amps of current. The fan is running and making noise. Yeah, this is it's definitely on. I'm gonna try to flip this to the high beam. So I don't think the high beam is brighter I just think it's less obscured by that little shield they have going on there. This is definitely bright though. It's definitely not dim. Very interesting. I'll, I'll be really interested in testing this on the bench, kind of characterizing it. it. Looks like it's using the same amount of current for uh, low beam. Yeah, pretty bright. Um, pretty bright. Pretty impressed. However, it'll, you know, we'll see once we plug it into the actual car. Whoa, 
I am seeing spots. All right. Since I'm already seeing spots, let's just do the other one. Yeah, there it goes. Fan is running. This thing is pretty damn bright. And don't know if I can just find another alligator clip. If I can. All we need to do is connect to the other terminal. There we go. Hmm. For some reason both together aren't much brighter. I think it's not allowing both to be on at once. Really interesting. Yeah, I can look at it this way because I've got the shield here. How hot is that getting? It's not bad. Let's see if we can crank up the voltage. About 14 volts. It's not much brighter. It may be regulated. I'm not quite sure how they do that, but uh, it is putting out a pretty good amount of light. I would have to go pop it in my car to go see, but I think I'll make a separate video about this. I'm going to do thermals. I'm going to check uh, sound levels and stuff like that. So this portion here is getting very hot. Very interesting. Awesome. Well, if you do want to see more about this, um, let me know in the comments below. If you really don't care about it, also tell me because, you know, if, if you guys don't want to see it, I just won't waste my time, right? So let me know in the comments below. Next one up is this one here. Ordered November 11th, got it January 3rd. So that one actually took a freaking long time. Um, $8.03 times two because there should be two items in here. Okay, I don't remember buying a lizard, and I'm not joking with you, I have no idea what the heck this lizard is. Universal type fashionable style to be more cool. What? I don't know. My wife's always telling me I should be more cool, so there we go. Huh. Lizard. Perfect. This is really not what I thought it was, actually. So this is not even from the Banggood special. Hmm. It's absolutely not what I thought it was. Well, I came this far. So what these are, are B and C extensions, 10 of them. I think I actually paid 50 bucks for these. Um, I kind of want to sell these locally because they're difficult to get. And I think it'd be worthwhile to have some way to reach your scope if you're doing automotive work. So yeah, I bought these extensions in bulk because I thought I'd be able to sell them, but you know, only time will tell if I'll actually be able to sell them. You need to test them first, but yeah, they're 10 foot BNCs. Um, 10 of them, I think, they're, so they end up costing me about five bucks each. Yeah, no Banggood affiliate link for this one because this is from eBay. But the package dimensions were identical to what I was expecting to get from Banggood. Huh, maybe I have to contact them about a lost parcel now. So this is the before last package. Um, this is the one where I was the most excited to open it. Um, it's a bit damaged here, but I still waited. I didn't open it without you guys. This is all shipping damage, I promise. Look, see the box is scratched. Ordered this on December 7th, got it on December 23rd. $46.85. So I paid so much for these items that I may not be able to pay for my internet. So if you want to help with that. Check out my Banggood affiliate links or check out my Patreon.
Some of you will recognize this, I guarantee. Oh, I hope it's what I, I think it is. Oh, yes, it is. This is not a Makita. It is 100% not. What it is, though, is it's a half-inch impact battery drill. This thing, um, uh, AVE had this in his hands, and he opened it up, and he saw that it uses all metal gears, all metal anvil. He says uh, it, it, it's a bit cheap. I, I, get, I think it didn't survive too many drop tests. But yeah, this is a Chinese clone. Why are my hands all full of grease? Oh, maybe from this? Probably. Anyways, he says this is a Chinese clone, uh, which puts several high-end manufacturers to shame. It is brushless. It is all metal geared. It is fantastic. I bought the one with the um, with the hex driver in the middle here. I don't know if you can see. Um, this thing is amazing. Let me get my hands cleaned off and then I'll continue to be amazed by this thing. So my immediate impression of this thing is it feels cheap. This, uh, this rubber here does not feel high quality. I can see that the molding is not done properly. Um, it's possible that on the inside it's good because you know what? It is rigid. It is extremely rigid. Um, the trigger is heavy, which I don't know. It's not heavy in a good way. The fasteners are Phillips. Yeah, Phillips. Not too great usually, but uh, not too bad. I feel like there's a lot of glass fiber reinforcing in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, jam packed with glass fibers. So I'd expect this to actually work for a while. I'm not gonna bring this to work. At work I have uh, air tools. Actually, I have air tools at home as well. But um, this is a treat for me. So I don't have to fill up my compressor every time I wanna pull off a tire. Um, so, uh, this is going to be for home, so it's not going to see a rough life. If you give your tools a rough life, you need to buy rough rated tools, and this is not that. But I am excited to give this a shot. The only problem is, so it takes Makita batteries, 18-volt uh, batteries. That's pretty loosey-goosey in there. Um, and I don't have any, so... I don't really know how I'm going to test this, so I guess we'll move on to the next one and I guess we'll figure it out some other time. Last package on the chopping block for this mostly Banggood special um, is this one here. This is an Amazon package. Um, it took two days to arrive, which is pretty good. Cost me uh, $33, $32.99. So I wonder what it could be. Some sort of... Geez, I don't know. Soldering iron? What's what's thirty-two dollars? Okay. Inside the box is another box. I'm glad there was no invoice with my name on it. That would be embarrassing. Huh. Interesting. What's this? Power tool battery user manual. Oh, would you look at that? It's like a Makita style battery. Oh, it's got a gauge here. Oh, wow, this is a terrible gauge. It's not even set up properly. Um, where are we going to find a tool to test this on? I have an idea. There we go. Jeez, this is a six, six amp hour battery. I don't know if it's actually six amp hours, but... It's, it says it is. So let's give it a shot. Oh, it's got a little flashlight in front. Ooh, fancy. Oh, wow. This thing is loud as frig. Ooh, it's got a soft start. I hammer on it and it doesn't, uh, doesn't start right away. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to figure out some way to test this. And then let you guys know, but 
my um, my plan is I want to do a full review of this guy um, because I think US it's like $35 or something. It's ridiculously cheap. Um, and this guy, I got to see if this is what it claims it is, uh, how to charge it, all this. I, I don't have a charger, as you can tell, but I've got electronics all over me. So I'm going to do some testing on this, some testing on this, some testing on the combo. And was it worth it or should I have just spent, uh, I think a brushless Makita around here is about $270. So should I have spent the extra, this was 50, this was 30. So, so let's say um, extra 200 or so dollars plus tax to get the real thing or is this good enough? Hmm. What do you think? And this lovely pile of post makes up today's mailbag. So if you want to support the channel and you like what you see here, uh, hit up the um, affiliate links in the description. I probably pin it on a post too. Or check out Patreon. Do you know who's awesome? My friggin' Patreons. So they're constantly giving me ideas on new stuff, feedback on the videos. Patreon is the place to be. So if you want to be in the place to be, Join my Patreon in the link below. Other than that, this was a fantastic video to make. I'm so excited to give this a shot. Uh, and these, and these, pretty much everything. So, once again, thanks for watching.